హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది మోస్ట్ బేసిక్ బిల్డింగ్ బ్లాక్స్ ఆఫ్ డిజిటల్ సర్క్యూట్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ ది సీమాస్ ఇన్వర్టర్ ఏ సీమాస్ ఇన్వర్టర్ పర్ఫార్మ్స్ ది బేసిక్ నాట్ ఆపరేషన్ విచ్ మీన్స్ వెన్ ది ఇన్పుట్ ఈస్ జీరో ది అవుట్పుట్ విల్ బి వన్ అండ్ వెన్ ది ఇన్పుట్ ఈస్ వన్ ది అవుట్పుట్ విల్ బి జీరో ది సీమాస్ ఇన్వర్టర్ పర్ఫార్మ్స్ ది బేసిక్ నాట్ ఆపరేషన్ వేర్ the output will be complement of the input if input is 0 output will be 1 and if input is 1 output will be 0 so this is the symbol of cmos inverter and this is the cmos inverter circuit the required not operation is performed using this cmos inverter circuit this is the logic symbol of cmos inverter and this is the transistor level implementation here a triangle with a circle represents the not gate or an inverter here a is the input and y is the output so here circle always indicates the inversion operation when a is equal to 0 y will be equal to 1 and when a is equal to 1 y will be equal to 0 this is the actual transistor level circuit implementation of cmos inverter we will call this as a cmos inverter because it consists of both pmos as well as nmos this is the pmos transistor where the source is connected to vdd which is positive supply voltage gate is connected to the input a and drain is connected to output y here you can observe there is a small bubble on the gate this indicates this transistor is a pmos transistor at the bottom we are having an nmos transistor where source of an nmos transistor is connected to ground gate is connected to input a and drain is connected to the output now let us understand the working of cmos inverter when input a is equal to 0 the pmos transistor will turn on and nmos transistor will turn off since nmos transistor is turned off the voltage vdd will appear across the output y you can observe here the vdd available across the source of pmos will appear across the output y so output y is equal to 1 now when the input is equal to 1 the pmos transistor will turn off and nmos transistor will turn on since pmos transistor is off and nmos transistor is on the ground which is connected across the source of nmos will appear across the output y so the output y will be equal to 0 so you need to remember when the input is given as 0 pmos will turn on and output will be equal to 1 and when the input is given as 1 nmos will turn on and output will be equal to 0 so this is how a cmos inverter will work when pmos is on the pmos transistor will connect output and vdd hence the output will be equal to 1 that's why this pmos in an inverter is known as pull up network and when nmos is on it will connect output and ground if we say ground which is nothing but vss hence output will be equal to 0 that's why the nmos in an cmos inverter is known as pull down network so pull up network will push the signal to high value and pull down network will pull the signal to low value so this process will continue pmos will give vdd and nmos will give the output as ground so this is about the cmos inverter hope you have understood the topic thank you <laughs>